Isis and the Seven Scorpions The goddess Isis faced great hardships in tracking down the pieces of her dismembered husband Osiris so that she could magically resuscitate him. Yet her trials were not over even then, for he died for a second time soon after he had made her pregnant with the child Horus. Then, in her renewed widowhood, she fell into the hands of her husband's killer. Her evil brother Seth imprisoned her, ordering her to weave a shroud for Osiris, who had returned once more to the underworld kingdom from which Isis's magic had temporarily summoned him. Yet even at this low point in her fortunes, Isis had friends among the gods. The wise Thoth saw her plight and determined to, to assist her. Freeing her from the linen mill where she was held, he provided her with an escort of seven scorpions, who each swore to protect the goddess and her unborn son from Seth's vengeance. The strange band set off for the marshes of the Nile Delta. On their way, they came to a village where Isis determined to seek food and shelter. The first house, the first house that she approached belonged to a wealthy noblewoman who, not recognizing the goddess, slammed the door in her face. Unabashed, Isis soon found a poor peasant girl who welcomed her into her humble home. The scorpions, however, were enraged by the rich woman's treat treatment of the goddess, and so they prepared to avenge their mistress. One of them crept into the noble woman's house and stung her young son. As the boy lay dying, his mother ran through the streets crying for help, but in payment for her earlier inhospitality, no one came to her aid. Isis, however, took pity on the boy, not wishing to see him suffer on his mother's account, and so she cast a powerful spell over him to neutralize the poison. The child recovered at once. His mother, truly repentant, gave all her belongings to Isis and the kindly peasant girl.